Welcome to the Cardinal Countdown, where we are sharing the stories of our graduating seniors. Today, let's get to know a special member of the Cardinal family. Take it away, Prez. Hi, my name is Michelle Mullings. I'm the student government president. I would say I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm a little bit sad because when I started York, I started in 2019, and then the pandemic hit in my spring semester of freshman year. But it's an exciting feeling to know like you're finally almost close to the end. Post-graduation, I'm gonna start an internship, something public health related, and then I'll apply to grad school after. I wanna do something related to helping formulating health policies because there's a lot of disparities in our communities. Aside from academics, Nishoya is a baker. I love sightseeing. I love spending time with my family and my friends outside of school. That's me in a nutshell. I love to bake bread. Um, my favorite sightseeing spot is in Atlantic City. The boardwalk, it's so beautiful. During my senior year of high school, I was still indecisive of where exactly I wanted to go because I also got accepted to some colleges of state as well, but I considered certain factors of what I wanted to do post-graduation of college, so I decided to choose to stick to CUNY because I wanted to have like a cheaper undergrad in case I had to like spend a lot of money for grad school. I was thinking like way ahead because I wanted to do pre-med, go to med school, all of that, but then I changed along the way. So I ended up at York because I applied to a few CUNY schools, not all of them, and York was one of them on the list, and York was the only one that I was accepted through the SEEK program, so that's kind of why I stuck to York. When I got my CUNY acceptances, I was like, York is the only one who accepted me through SEEK. So they had an informational session before I graduated high school. I think it was around April, around March, April was the informational session. So I came in and I was like, oh, this is nice. It was my first time coming to Queens too. I was like, this is nice. So I met everyone, the staff at the SEEK office. They were so friendly telling me like, oh, this is what you need to do to get in, like to set your place in. I'm like, okay, it was pretty smooth. I submitted all the paperwork and stuff and that's how I became a SEEK scholar. On the CUNY application there is always an option if would you like to apply to SEEK. So SEEK stands for Search for Education, Elevation and Knowledge. That's the program's acronym, yeah. So that's like a, let's say you didn't get through through regular admissions, that's kind of like the backup plan to say, oh, you didn't get through through regular admissions, but you have the chance to still attend through SEEK. So SEEK has a lot of benefits. They offer free tutoring. There's also this summer session that you get prepared for college through as a freshman. So when you're coming, you're not just completely lost. They help you to navigate degree works over the summer. You get your ID card before you start school. Um, we also got stipends. That was fun and then we got introduction to certain college courses. Favorite year memory? There's so much honestly. Um, let's say as a freshman my favorite memory was the first club fair. It was so beautiful like there were a lot of clubs on display but it wasn't just the clubs telling you what they're doing. I think Red Shoes had performed too. That time Red Shoes was so active like Red Shoes is known to set the club fair off. So that was my favorite York memory. You don't know what you want to do. Honestly, I came in college with a set plan, like this is what I'm gonna do, this is what I'm gonna end with. I don't know what they're talking about because I know what I'm doing. No, once you hit like the end of your sophomore year, you get to realize like you really don't know what you want to do because you're exposed to a lot of different courses. I didn't know that I was gonna switch from wanting to be a pediatrician to working in public policy until I took the health policy course that's required for my major. And I'm like, this is probably what I want to do in school. You're not always gonna know like this is what you want to do. Sometimes it's better to accept advice that you get even though you don't think that it's for you in the moment. I 
I'm proud of my growth so far. I can't say when I was younger, because it's just a couple years ago, you know? All right, like three years ago, I was inside my comfort zone a lot. And then I realized like a couple years, probably like a year ago, I started realizing different stuff about myself, different passions, different interests that I have. So, oh, and my mindset is different too. So that's kind of what I'm most proud of, the person that I've grown to be. I don't want to be biased. I love both of my parents dearly, but my real MVP has to be my mom. Like, she's the ears to all my problems. There's nothing that my mom literally doesn't know that I go through. There are times like when I'm so completely lost about something. My mom is not the type of mom to be like, oh, you should do this, you should do this, but my mom is the type to let you know like, it's your life, your decisions, but I'm gonna let you know this was my experience. I don't want you to make the same mistake, but if you're smart, you should listen to me. Yeah, that's my MVP. What drives me is the type of life that I want to live in the future. And I became a sister 14 months ago. Ooh. So my little sister is also what drives me. <laughs> <laughs> Commencement is June 1st, so make sure you're there, live, tune in, make sure you don't miss it, period.